Somatic gene transfer is utilized where an essential gene in the individual produces a non-functional protein. A cloned gene encodes a functional form of this defective protein and is introduced into a cell isolated from the individual. The cells are grown and then injected into the individual where they home, they go to the organ type, blood or muscle for example, to produce the missing protein for the person. So when is this type of therapy utilized? A great example is for individuals who are born without the enzyme adenosine deaminase, which is essential for immune function development. Without an immune system, these children die very early from infection. This type of treatment comes with significant risks and several deaths early in this process treating other diseases, slowed progress in developing this approach for humans. But one of the aspirations in this area focuses on eukaryotic stem cells, where the ability of these cells to form any other type of cell indicates that a permanent change would be possible using these cells. Inducing modified DNA and in introducing modified DNA into these cells could provide relief for many medical conditions. This process is highly regulated by federal agencies, and prior impacts have included the development of cancer. The positive side is that tissue re rejection may be avoided for transplanted cells if the original cells are from the same organism. Many researchers are motivated by the concept of personalized stem cells that can replace our damaged tissues. But we are only talking about somatic impacts, that is, introducing somatic cells does not affect the germline. 